in the first module of this course you have seen a lot of supervised machine learning algorithms and the last one that we did you know we were doing classification problems using machine learning right in those scenarios what we are given is a data set like this over here you have been given a data set where you are given house size location the age of the house and your job as a machine learning engineer is by looking at this examples over here you need to predict what will be the scenario b for these next two cases over here you just have three examples but it's just a dummy uh, data set uh, in real life you would have thousands or millions of records that you look at and then based on what you uh, see in your training data you would come up to predict the targets or the labels for the test data points as well so these points are your training data sets and these are your test data points okay by now you guys should be familiar with these terms but what happens when you come across a scenario like this one over here what you see is researchers are trying to analyze the mri scans of your brain and based on the different activity a person does different parts of brain might get activated okay and to come up with these visualizations they were not given any labeled data sets right they weren't told that you know look at 10 million records of brain scans and this is what we have found and now predict what you are going to get so there is no previous research done a similar research done and there is no previous labeled data set there right it's not possible you now when we are trying to make sense of our data we come across situations where there is no prior either there is no prior uh, no work done in this field and there are no data sets which are available with uh, there aren't any labeled data sets which are available now over here they had lots of mri scans which might be available in a hospital's database but uh, no meaningful information uh, no would have been uh, generated because think of the output that a mri machine might give it could be the electrical pulses or mri images which would contain the data rows or the features in millions or no even more than that often we come across situations like these where you no know, there isn't a formal problem or you no know, we are, we know that we kind of know what we are looking for but we still don't have any prior information about the subject itself at that point the second type of machine learning algorithm which is unsupervised machine learning algorithm comes to our rescue what you do for a unsupervised machine learning algorithm is let's say you are given a bunch of fruits in this case or in a real life setting it could be images of a fruit which are given to a system right so you are given a bunch of fruits or images of these fruits are give, fed to a machine learning algorithm this goes to an unsupervised machine learning algorithm and what it does is based on the things that it sees maybe the size color and or whatever features that the machine learning engineer chooses it would classify them into three buckets over here our unsupervised machine learning algorithm looked at this information or the data set which was given to us and it said okay i think that all the images which are red in color which look like this are in bucket 1 all the ones which are you no know, oranges or you no know, have a, a shape like this are in bucket 2 and so on but note at this point it doesn't know that these are apples or these are oranges we haven't told our unsupervised machine learning algorithm anything as such over here and based on what the similarities or a structure that it sees it tries to find that hidden structure in this data set which is available over here and it tries to make sense out of it okay so my question to you guys is how is it different than classification over here you also you could say that i made three classes right i could just change the word cluster to classes right so how is this different then a classification problem in a classification problem we still have those labels right we are told over here that you know what we take 100 images of apples and this is an apple this is an orange this is a mango right and in this case over here we are not given any such information we are just trying to find hidden patterns in this data over here and that's the first thing that we uh, know said about the differences between a supervised machine learning algorithm and an unsupervised machine learning algorithm that within a supervised machine learning algorithm you'll always get you'll, you'll find that you have a labeled data set to work with and for an unsupervised machine learning algorithm the labels or the targets in this case which was you known the 
our previous example, which was the what fruit is it? That's totally unknown. We know that those are similar images, but we don't know what they are. For a supervised machine learning algorithm, you most likely you are gonna come up with these two tasks. The one is the prediction. Given a set of past points, you need to predict you know what's gonna happen in the future, or you're trying to classify things based on you know the parameters of a given uh, item. Let's say if a user likes or dislikes a movie, you are given you not. Know, 20 or 100 movies in past that he has liked or disliked and then you are given another movie now and you have been told that you know what based on what you know tell me will a user like or dislike a movie so either we're trying to predict something or we are trying to classify uh, things okay whereas an unsupervised machine learning algorithm is trying to find hidden patterns in the unlabeled data it is trying to find a structure in them and you know, find similarities in the content there Overall, what you could say is you no know, supervised machine learning algorithm is a as a problem which is more formalized, mathematically speaking, or you no know, even conceptually. For an unsupervised machine learning algorithm, you kind of don't know what you're looking for, so the problem itself is ambiguous in that case.